please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Just spoke with uh, Dr. Angarajan and I now have another join of central banking, uh, Dr. Bhaivi Reddy, former governor of the Reserve Bank with me. Dr. Reddy, thank you very much for joining me, sir. Well, uh, first I wanted to ask you on the state of the economy itself. Uh, uh, we saw one GDP print coming better than the 5.7, we got a 6.3 print. Uh, from your anecdotal experience, you think that we are past the disruption of GST and demon? Uh, things are stabilizing and uh, we are almost normal now? But there are two differences. One is disruption is not one day affair. Yeah. It continues. Then uh, disruption gets reduced and the medium term benefits start commencing. So that we should recognize. And uh, I think uh, the way I looked at it is roughly, in fact, somebody asked me also, roughly the GST, given the nature of complications involved like GST, banking resolution also has to be done, and then we have this demonetization. It would take two years, that's my okay. rough, for the maximum effect to co cool down. Our one year is almost behind that, so it started looking up now. So as we move on, I presume that the gains will overtake the pain. Okay. So, but I think that distinct shift Mm. Uh, should happen uh, two years from the uh, from the events and maybe one year from now. So okay, so. it is six months actually. No, it's uh, not July. Not months. Okay, and it's no, not I'm an saying. event. There are so many things happen, and you are only expecting. So 2019, you think we should be? Uh, yes, and by then we should also look at the uh, basically how to increase the um, potential output. Okay. I think the real task for us is how to ensure while this has to be sorted out. From a policy point of view, this is an implementation issue, let me put mm. it this way. Yes. Implementation issue uh, where you minimize the imperfections, maximize the opportunities. Okay. From the policy point of view, how to increase the investment in the country and how to increase the productivity in the country and make sure that it's consistent with the employment. Mm. And that, I think, is the biggest It's the bigger challenge. So over there, obviously, the most important, one of the more important issues will be the public sector bank reform. Now, uh, both the governor of the Reserve Bank as well as the finance minister have said that recapitalization will come with reform. Now, how do you understand reform? What should be the uh, most core of reform? Okay. See, there are two ways of looking at reform. When you reform, you can do it incrementally or fundamentally. Mm. So we have been following incrementally. Basically, what it means is public sector banks are not doing well. So I'll have a encourage private sector banks. Don't stop them, but they, I won't disturb them. Mm. Okay. Uh, airlines, I'll allow the private airlines to come, but I won't disturb the Air India. Mm. But Air India also money is being incurred. You're putting in more money. And you're putting in more money in public sector, public banks. sector banks. And your share is coming down. Mm. So it's one of the strangers of this, that in a where you're reducing the market share, you're incurring losses, and you're putting money, mm. the taxpayers' money. So then if you ask this fundamental question, the answer is very clear that you have to privatize? It's very clear. Unless you are able to prove that there are other benefits. What are the other benefits? Okay. Now, the other benefit is social. First, first, even assuming that you are thinking of social objectives like, uh, like um, uh, local uh, financing, easier access, those are uh, local area stuff. There's are agriculture credit. Agriculture is a state subject. Mm -hmm. Agriculture is a state subject. Agriculture can become a state subject. So, if you, so therefore, what I was saying in the current context, uh, the, the, if you in answer to that question, and then what are we trying to do? What's the reform that we are talking about? Let's accept, assuming that the government of India uh, and India is determined to reform fundamentally. Yes. What do you want to do? You consolidate, right? Make be consolidated. Yes. So you consolidate so that you uh, operate like HDFC, like ICIC. Then we are putting government money, people's money. Okay. So if at all you want to serve social purpose, then it should be smaller banks, local area banks. If you pursue this logic, then there is merit in, if, if, if the government of India is thinking consolidating and replicating private sector banks, my point is that doesn't make sense. Then as well government of India advocate, if the concentration is on social localized requirements, you can ask, as well ask the state banks, say each state government, use the modern technology, modern methods, and start new institutions. Okay. In fact, let me get it. I, I, I so, you know, I told Dr. Rangarajan this. No, just let me explain. I, I know. Let me explain two things. <coughs> I was not only with Rangarajan, as recently as six months back, when this issue was raised, I said, over my dead body. What, privatization? No, no. Over my dead body, the uh, giving bank licenses to state governments. Oh. Fundamentally, that has been my position. But now that there seems to be a strong political economy consensus, 
for presence of the public sector banking in the country. Yes. If there is a pump, and also I think there's no people are not uh, uh, reacting against putting back money also. So I feel that there's a social and public sector. Uh, governmental consensus to have some sort of presence of public sector banking. Mm. If that is the formulation, I would prefer it to be banks sponsored by state governments mm. for two reasons. Ultimately, state governments are under the discipline of the central government. Mm. The new banks will have to be created under company law. Therefore, the idea is the dual uh, control issue yes. will not come up. Third, and, and, and in my most important is there is no centralized risk. Okay. In other words, and the it's a diversified risk. Therefore, some states may do well, as some states are doing. So then you will have uh, Gujarat banking model, <laughs> okay. Nagaland banking model, Kerala banking model. You see Kerala, you've got a lot of deposits and local loans limited. So I, I thought that in many countries there were such localized mm -hmm. banks. So at least we can have a, a new dynamic, then persist with an old dynamic. But that will have to be an altogether new bank. The current public sector banks which are run by the central government. That's, uh, that's, 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 they you expect the best solution is privatizing? No, as I said, but, uh, but the way I look at it is if it is, and I sympathize with the argument that some amount of public sector presence in banking is important. Okay. So whether they will privatize all or have some, but some presence, even for government affiliate, maybe some presence is required. But if, my point is, if the purpose is social banking, such social banking can be done better at the state level okay. in the new context. But if you are having, the point is, what I'm saying is, whatever you are doing, definitely the best solution is not to have large public sector banks at national level doing exactly like yes. HDFC and ICSA is not the best solution. Okay, fair point. Well, uh, let me come to another issue and I will link it to public sector banks. The uh, uh, ordinance to the bankruptcy code doesn't allow uh, promoters to buy back the companies unless they clear every penny of the loan or most of the loan. Uh, you think that's... Uh, I don't know. I think it's a way of... When there's some, some, some circumvention of law uh, or something like that, I think. No, it, 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 it's, it's in some ways an extension to the principle of Benami. Mm. You've got one entity, you marked it up, you create another entity, okay. the same person comes in. So it is in some ways prevents of misuse mm. of the identity. But you are in sympathy with that? I don't know the details and, mm. and that's not my area of... Uh, okay. No, I'm asking you because uh, there was one uh, question which was raised by a financial expert who said that uh, if the India had had only private sector banks, then if there was an NPA issue and a haircut issue, it would be between a private lender and a private borrower. Only because there is public cap money, taxpayer money that is used as capital, we have made this ordinance that the old promoter who is discredited shall not buy. Uh, I don't know the detail, but I can understand the difference. Mm. The difference is in the case of a private sector bank, the bank directors sit down and say the fellow who was old owner is trying to buy the new one, so we won't accept the bid. Mm. They'll go to a bid, a different bid. But that will be arbitrary, but based on their own judgment. Yes. That will not be permitted in public sector bank. Okay. In the public sector bank, they are accountable, they will go to court. So they will give reasons. When you try to give reasons, the problem is if the, co if the company, corporate entity is different and he has got his own brother-in-law, then you, you got into problem of the... So you got a, a information but not okay. proof. Okay. So therefore, uh, the public sector bank's processes are more difficult. Required this ordinance? Uh, no, I'm not saying required, but they may... They may be an indicative possible reason okay. uh, why if the other countries don't have, if we have, this may be the reason. Okay. Uh, okay. But I'm only speculating. I'm as ignorant as you are. <laughs> okay. So the other issue I wanted to ask you, and again, uh, this is a law which we, you know, only the text is available on the PRS website of uh, uh, a financial resolution corporation that is going to be created. Now, this FRDI bill is making everyone anxious because it says that when a bank fails, the deposits of the bank also can be bailed in uh, to bail out the bank, as it were, convert some of the deposits into share capital or maybe extend the tenure of the deposits. It is creating panic. Should people panic at all? After all, Government of India and Reserve Bank uh, did not allow Global Trust Bank depositors to uh, go uh, to lose. It did not allow Bank of Rajasthan depositors to lose. Should we panic about this bill? Then if that is so, then why is bill? 
<laughs> you know, if the existing situation didn't raise a problem, I mean, I'm just, <laughs> the counter can be, the existing situation is not creating a problem, then we are having this law. Okay. I'm not... They're trying to create a resolution corporation uh, and maybe... I mean, because it is... is uh, it is superior. The question, the question that's being asked, I mean, you, I'm just... Uh, okay. I don't know. I don't know the detail. Your counterfactual question. Yeah, I, I don't know the detail, but normally there's a problem, then there's a solution. Okay. I, I, what you say, there's no problem. So what's your problem? I said, if there's no problem, what solution are you trying to give? Okay. Well, uh, okay. This so why are you trying to give me a solution when there's no problem? All right. So, so basically, people, you think people are uh, justified in being... I'm not, I don't know, but definitely people are panicking. That I can tell you. Yeah. Any number of messages I got, and I'm uh, again uh, pleading uh, ignorance because uh, I don't know much about that. Uh, okay, this. okay. All right, Phil. Well, finally, sir, uh, you know, we have the public sector bank uh, uh, reform on the agenda. I don't know that uh, banks owned by state governments is not on the agenda at all. Mm -hmm. At the same time, Mr. Jaitley made it very clear that political opinion as yet doesn't support privatization of public sector you know, banks. What I'm trying to say is, let me explain. It is not privatization of banking system in India. Privatization of the national public sector banks. And let me give you one simple example just to conclude. For computerization in India, there was a National Informatics Corporation. Yes. It was started. That services were provided to all state governments for free. Okay. The Andhra Pradesh government created its own corporation okay. called Andhra Pradesh Technology Services. And we said we will install our own computerization because we want to move faster than government of India. And as you know, it became a model for use of... Uh, yes. So therefore, you have to look at that way, if it's social objectives, if it's local, is there merit in doing that? So it's an experimentation, and I think, but uh, I'm, as I repeated as told earlier, uh, what is not on the agenda doesn't mean it's not doing things, no? Okay. Point taken, sir. Yes. Uh, Dr. Reddy gives us a brave new thought. Probably, uh, for social purposes, state governments should be allowed to float their own banks. That must be the new avatar of public sector banking. Interesting idea, sir. I'm sure we will hear more about it in the days to come.